it's something, it's really strange looking. I don't know what is going on with that. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, baby. Oh, yes. <sighs> One of our final surveys of the mission. I mean, we're winding down. We're coming to a close. Uh, weather was actually pretty bad last night. Um, so it was, we had to make a decision whether we were going to go. So we, we went ahead and we dove. Uh, and on the first line of that survey, uh, we came across a wreck. It doesn't say they stumbled it that far in advance, right? Hey, Ian, I'm going to give you a position. I'll have you uh, trundle over there because we're going to set up a, a high-frequency survey. As the mission winds down, you get to that point to where, you know, are you going to be able to find what you're looking for? And, and this was very gratifying. Just to the flight deck is what my, my biggest concern is. Uh, we're going to set up and do a high frequency, high resolution survey on it now so we can just, really I just need to get a cross section um, and a length on the ship. If you measure on here, yeah. what's this one? Up to the flight deck. I, you know, she's going to be buried, buried into the mud a bit. I'm going to run 25 meter altitude. And either one of those is going to tell us what it is because really what's left is Soryu and a Kagi in this area, and those two ships are, are uh, there's a major differences uh, between them, so we should be able to tell what this is. Who they are. Go ahead. Vehicle shut down and ready to be shut off. We have a, a side scan sonar on the vehicle, and it looks out on both uh, port and starboard sides with sound, and it emits a sound and receives it back, and from that uh, reflection off of uh, objects in the on the bottom of the ocean, we can create a, a, a picture from sound. For wide area searches, we use a very low frequency sonar at 75 kilohertz, and that allows us to see out a kilometer on either side of the vehicle. But once we find something, we can go back with the higher resolution and get a, a better picture of uh, the debris field and the shape of the ship and how it sits. Island was on port side. Port side. She's sitting upright on her keel. Uh, we can see the bow. We can see the stern clearly. You can see some of the gun emplacements on there. You can see some of the flight deck is also torn up and missing. So you can actually look right into where the flight deck would be. Get a little bit closer. I'm sure of what we're seeing here. Uh, the the dimensions that we're able to derive from this this image is conclusive. Uh, the the length on this ship is about 258 to 259 meters as we can measure it in length, and the width is about 32 meters. So. Um, it can be none other than a Kagi. Congratulations. That is a Kagi.